On social media sites like Twitter, scroll through President Donald Trump's tweets and you'll find warning label after warning label. On Facebook, too, President Trump's posts are labeled with banners linking to additional supporting material. Before the Senate Judiciary Committee, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey faced a grilling over their company's actions. Why then is Twitter right now putting purported warnings on virtually any statement about voter fraud? We're simply linking to a broader conversation so that people have more information. No, no, you're not. You put up a page that says, quote, voter fraud of any kind is exceedingly rare in the United States. That's not linking to a broader conversation. That's taking a disputed policy position. And you're a publisher when you're doing that. Democratic senators are concerned that the labels don't go far enough. What evidence do you have that these labels are effective in addressing President Trump's lies? We don't want to put ourselves in a position of calling an election. That is not our job. So we're pointing to um, sources and pillars that have traditionally done this in the past. So that's why we put the Voter Information Center prominently on the top of Facebook and Instagram for months leading up to the election and, and kept it uh, up afterwards so people can see reporting on, on the results. As I mentioned in my, my opening statement, 140 million Americans visited that. Zuckerberg says Facebook took down more than 100 networks of bad actors trying to interfere with the election with the help of artificial intelligence, human review, and law enforcement partnerships. Dorsey says from October 27th to November 11th, Twitter flagged more than 300,000 tweets with potentially misleading election content. Senators and the tech companies are trying to work out how to modify Section 230. It's an internet law that prevents companies like Facebook and Twitter from being liable for information posted on their pages by other content providers. Republican Senator Josh Hawley said he obtained leaked information about Centra, a computer program he claimed Facebook uses to track users across different platforms. Do you have a tool that does exactly what I've described and that you can see here over my shoulder? Senator, I, I'm saying that I'm not familiar with it and that I, I'd be happy to follow up uh, and, and uh, get you and your team the information that, that you would like on this. Um, but I, I'm, I'm limited in what I can, what, what I'm familiar with and can share today. It's always amazing to me, Mr. Chairman, how many people before this committee suddenly develop amnesia. Zuckerberg pledged to have a Facebook representative attend an intellectual property subcommittee hearing in mid-December. Mark News, CGTN, San Francisco.